So you're telling me about your extensive travel schedule for, for somebody that doesn't know, like when you drop an album, what all does that entail? If you're lucky, it's no sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of press, a lot of interviews, a lot of meet and greets, you know, a lot of, you know, doing drops for people for, for whatever reasons and just really just taking as many opportunities as you can to get in front of as many people as possible. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, I'm not finna be at, you know, Good Morning song, America, like, you know, some, song, some concert series or no shit like that. Like I'm not finna be on the view or no shit like that, so for me, I have to, you know, take advantage of the opportunities in front of me. And that's, you know, concerts and touring and, you know, wherever the people are, that's where we go. You know what I'm saying? I'm very lucky to have that OG pass to kind of get in, you know, any kind of situation I would like to get in as far as music is concerned. So, you know, some days it's good to be the king, especially when you're doing albums. But it's not a lot of sleep. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta shut the club down and then you got to do the wake up morning show. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going from one to the other. You know, walking out of the club at 4.30 and you're doing morning radio at 6. Maybe if you look, you can stop for a donut in the middle. <laughs> but I mean, this is this is what we ask for. This is this is the life that everybody dreams of, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people who would much rather suffer from sleep deprivation than being broke. Well, I know a lot of people on the internet are buzzing about the, the Pepsi and um, Tupac record. How yeah. are you able to... I'm sure that wasn't easy to get all the, the clearances and whatnot required. You'd be surprised, man. I mean, getting Pimp C cleared, of course, that, that wasn't necessarily an issue. But, um, you know, we've always had a great relationship with the estate, you know what I'm saying, which is how the original song came came about was as a, a submission for one of the Tupac tribute albums. But the song didn't make the album. It ended up in the um, in the Tupac archives and uh, ended up getting pulled up out the archives. And, you know, we got a call. I was like, yo, I just found this song over here, man, with Pimp on it and Pac, man. So... You know, like if you want the song back, you know, we can get you this track back. I'm like, cool, you know. It'd be great to have, you know, have an unreleased Pimp C verse. You're like, well, you know, we're gonna give you the Pac verse too. I'm like, shit, we out of here. So you couldn't get uh, Michael Jackson on the hook? No, no, you know, we, we tried, but uh, <laughs> no we, verse actually, from Jesus. He was, un he was unavailable, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get that. Uh, but no, um, you know, we, we, we went for Marvin Gaye, and then after that, we just said we're gonna do Trey song. We went for, you know, that's what we were trying to find is some new Marvin Gaye. Right. Nobody could get known on the phone, so we just went with Trey Songz, the next best thing, you know. That's a big compliment for Trey Songz. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So when you leave here, you're going to? Leave here, go back to Houston, pack up the bags, we get up, uh, do morning radio, do in-stores, and we go to Dallas. Got a release party in Dallas, then we get up, do morning radio in Dallas, and come back to Houston, uh, do the concert in Houston. Then Thursday, we go to Atlanta. Do the release party at Opera. Then Friday, we go to the Army base at uh, Fort Hood and Colleen, do an in-store for them. Uh, then we leave Colleen, drive down to Austin. I got an in-store. I had two in-stores in Austin, one at a record store and then one at uh, Nice Kicks, a clothing and shoe store. Then I got a, uh, are we doing a party that night possibly? Yeah, doing something that night. Yeah, Club Illusions that night. Then after Austin is DC. Yeah, after Austin, get up. Fly to DC, in store we are one. Um, I host like this uh, rap contest with a mansion pool party. Maybe do a couple of songs there. Then I got a concert that night. And uh, where we at after DC? Oh, we gonna go to church on Sunday. Oh yeah, we go back home on the first thing. Go to church on Sunday. And thank God for letting us have this great release. That's quite a week. Yeah, but, I mean you know. You and should ask people, so is, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, but you know, it, it come with the job. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have it any other way. You know what I'm saying? If I was just sitting in my house right now, on my ass, I mean, something's really wrong. I mean, this is the best place I figured I could be in today, prior to my album coming out in two days. I mean, this, this is where you want to be.